Good afternoon. Today we are going to be adding and checking the oil. We just had the uh, low oil uh, uh, symbol come up here on the dashboard on our 2019 Subaru Impreza. Uh, so I'm getting the car warmed up. Uh, the procedure with that is let the car run till it's warm, then shut it off and wait at least 30 seconds for the oil to settle. Another thing is you can come over to your owner's manual, boom. And if you have any concern with the type of oil or the procedure, you can double check in here. Everything that I do is in the manual. So, yep, manual's in the glove box. Great resource right there. So now that the car ran for a few minutes, we're gonna release the hood. I have the car on a level surface so the oil doesn't tilt and give you a false reading. I'm gonna unlatch the hood. You have to kind of pull it up and then slide your finger sideways. You'll feel the, the release on there. We're gonna take our uh, kickstand here and that goes over in the hole there. The three items you need, uh, this is a 0W20 uh, full synthetic oil, uh, a rag, and a funnel is optional. I like it just so it doesn't get messy. In a pinch, if you can't find this oil, you can also use 5W30 non-synthetic or synthetic. So the engine's nice and warm. This is our dipstick. We pull it out here and then we're gonna wipe it off. Reinsert the dipstick all of the way and that's when you check it. So we're a little low. On the dipstick here, there are these two dots. Don't fill it up. This is uh, over full if you go over this dot. And if you're under this dot, it can take uh, a whole liter. Uh, let's see, what's this guy? Or 1.1 quarts. So that's, uh, that's this guy here. Actually, I'm gonna correct myself. This is uh, point Let's see, one US quart. So this, I'm gonna put half this in, see where I sit, put the other half in. You do not wanna overfill. That is the most important thing about checking and adding oil. Now, as I'm checking this, I'm getting kind of a funny reading, and I think it's just because there's too much oil kicked up, so I need to wait a few more minutes and let the oil settle back all the way down to get an accurate reading. I'll go ahead and do this section while we're waiting for the, the oil to settle. And we'll undo this, righty tighty, lefty loosey. This is this oil cap right here. Another nice thing is they put the grade of oil you should put in there. I'll put this right to the side. I personally like using a funnel just to make sure I don't splash it everywhere. And then we're gonna come back over here and check our dipstick. So I'm getting a little bit more accurate reading and you can see I'm below that lower mark right here. So I pulled it out, wiped it, and actually the line is right there. So I should be able to add this whole container, <laughs> no problem. Now when you open the lid, make sure that there's no foil or this ring that's down here won't come off and go into the oil. That's also kind of a nice thing that uh, using the funnel. Now one thing is actually uh, oil bottles are designed to pour this way so air can go in from the top and you don't get uh, it gulping for air. So go here and I'm still going to add about half of this to get started and then check it. Just because so there's the level on the side of the bottle. A little bit more than half, but now I'm gonna run the engine and then I'm gonna check it again. Put our caps back on, so we got that cap on. Put that on. Dipsticks in there, let's run the engine. I'll let that run for just a few minutes and then check it again. All right, I just checked the oil again. It's still low. So I'm gonna finish this bottle 
into the engine. All right, so I'm gonna pull the dipstick out. Do our final check, wipe it clear. And let's see what we got. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna have to let it settle for a minute. Yeah, this dipstick's kind of tough to read, but you can see that the oil level is right between the two dots, and that's perfect. Um, I wouldn't add any more. You just want it above the low dot. So we're right in the middle. We're good to go. That's how you check and add oil. It's a little repetitive. Once you get used to doing it, you'll have a better idea. But don't be afraid to add, check, add, check, go back and forth. This one's a little tricky because the dipstick's kind of hard to read. You got to wipe it and look at it, wipe it and look at it to kind of get an idea where the, uh, the oil level is. But I emptied that whole uh, quart of oil in there, got us up to a good level. If this video was helpful, uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Also, I'll throw, I'll throw uh, the oil on an Amazon link in there. If you want to grab an oil or a funnel or some shop rags from those links, check it out. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.